Now before starting the video, I would like to talk about the sponsor of this video, KeysFan. KeysFan.com offers cheap and legal OEM software keys in an easy way. You can activate software such as Windows and Microsoft Office in a fast and reliable way with these keys that are 100% official and suitable for online activation. Moreover, they offer lifetime after sales support in addition to 24 by seven customer support. The Happy New Year software special sale is live right now. So don't miss out KeysFan. Upgrade your software at unbeatable prices today. Add the product you need to your cart and catch 52% discount for Windows series with RTG 52 and 62% discount for Microsoft Office and bundle with RTG 62. Don't forget to check the descriptions for details. What's going on everyone? It's RGB Tech back here again. I hope you're all doing amazing. So the wait is finally over. Just imagine one app that brings all your favorite PC games, cloud gaming, and even other emulators together at one place. Sounds cool, right? Let me introduce you to GameHub, your new go-to gaming emulator for Android devices. And the best part, it's completely free. Whether you're gaming on your phone, tablet, or even your PC, GameHub's got you covered with controller and on-screen touch control support, offline PC emulation, and so much more. So why wait? Let me show you why GameHub is the ultimate game changer. First, let's download the GameHub emulator. The process is so simple. After download, install the package. Now I'll close everything. All right, open GameHub emulator. After launching GameHub, the setup process is quick and easy. The app will prompt you to log in. You can use your email, Google account, or Apple account to sign in. Next, you'll need to choose an emoji for your profile. Simply click on the circle. Select your favorite emoji. Click on continue. Lastly, set a display name or nickname so that other GameHub users can find you easily. And hit the continue button to ensure the app works smoothly. Here you need to grant few permissions. First, allow display over other apps for GameHub to function properly. Then enable audio permissions. Finally, we're in the GameHub interface. And first impressions? Wow, just look at this interface, guys. It looks absolutely amazing. Everything is so sleek and well-designed. The GameHub isn't just a PC emulator that runs PC games on your mobile. It goes far beyond that you can see so many highly intensive titles that are now possible to run using WinLater or other emulators. It can run PlayStation, Xbox, and PC games via Moonlight. Also, games from the Google Play Store as well, all in this amazing emulator. Plus, GameHub even includes some demo games for new users. Anyways, now tap on the profile icon. Select Game. Tap on PC icon. So here, you'll need to import your PC games to the library. Allow permission. I also do recommend you guys to copy a pre-installed PC game directly onto your Android device. Go to the path where you copied the files. Let's import Grand Theft Auto 5. Here I'll select Game Launcher Executable File. As you can see it will automatically update the cover image of the game, name, and its assets path. Now confirm. And it will automatically take you to all the firmware, DXVK, and others which are required to run these games on your Android device. Make sure to have an active internet connection to download all these required files. In game management, you can check storage usage and manage everything right here. You can also import and add more games from here. Like let's add God of War. Same as usual, it will download the required drivers for the game. It all depends. Some games use different drivers like this is Proton Arm 64 based or the Wine version we all know. All right, now let's tap on the game. Look at it, guys. The interface looks great, like everything in detail. The cover art and background video absolutely looks insane. Now tap on Settings, Game Settings. Here in general, we have options like you can set your language, set game resolution based on your device. Even the native resolution is also available. For now, I'll leave it to default. Now to compatibility. Set Wine version to 9.5 or 9.16. Now go to Translation Params. Here set safe flags value to zero. Also set big block value to one to three. AVX is disabled. Next to controller. The controller support and X input are already enabled. It also comes with haptic support that's actually good. And here, you can also install components just like we did on WinLater. And finally, the input mapping. Enable this option.
And here you'll get two types of input control layouts. And all of these are on-screen touch controls. Either you can apply the first or second one. You can also edit current mapping controls. And one more thing I missed. Yeah, incompatibility options. Set GPU driver. Select turnip driver that suits your device or if you are using the latest Snapdragon 8 Elite, you can choose this driver. There's Adreno driver. Or if you don't know, by default, you can go with the system driver. DXVK version is already set. Box 64 version, everything is set. Set CPU core limit to maximum for better performance. Also in general, here there's an option to enter into the container desktop. Let's go ahead and see. And yes, it's on a normal wine version like we see on other emulators. Anyways, let's boot the game. Tap on play now. All the games you import can be added to GameHub's main library, giving you direct access to them. Here I'll turn on ultimate mode for better performance. This will keep device more stable. So right now, this is my Poco F6, powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon 8S Gen 3 with 12 gigs of RAM. If we swipe to back, here we have control options like input mapping. It's enabled on screen. There's a performance option. You can set the custom frame limit up to screen's refresh rate. HDR option as well, I'll show you during test. CRT display effect. You can also set super resolution, that's actually insane. And HUD display to display real-time FPS meter. That's it. Looks like I'm on the first level. All right, it's time for the real hell test. Let's push it to the max native resolution of this device. It's almost like a 2K resolution, guys. DirectX HUD is set to simple. In here, GPU driver is set to turnip 24.2. All right, all right, it's started. And these are the settings we applied. HDR mode is enabled. Frame limit is set up to 120. Super resolution is set with max sharpness. Now DirectX HUD bar looks so tiny. There we go. Well, let me show you the settings. We are running on the native resolution up to 120 Hertz. Everything is set to normal. Look at those details, quality, and you'll also notice a difference between both HDR on and off modes. With super resolution, it adds more details, the texture gets sharper and everything. Even if we set it on DirectX 10 settings, and we are almost getting like 17 to 20 FPS on average in this phone's native resolution. If you set it to lower like to 720p, you'll get even better FPS. Well, the device is getting a bit hot, even though my room temperature is cool. The good thing is, the emulator is handling it pretty well. There are a few stutters here and there, but surprisingly, it still maintains a constant frame rate. Anyways, that was the complete setup of the GameHub Windows emulator for Android with the best settings and test. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about this emulator. That's it for today's video. Don't forget to subscribe if you want more tests on this emulator. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.